أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear learners of the Holy Quran Al-Kareem After lesson 10, we are going to learn lesson 11 today. In this lesson, you will learn some important symbols that will be used in uh, Quran Al-Kareem. At the beginning, you see this symbol. You will see this symbol on top of some letters. Sometimes you might see it on the side of a letter. And this symbol is called standing fatha. In some areas, people may call it standing zabur as well. And then if this symbol is at the bottom of a letter, it will be called standing kasra or standing zir. They will look like a tiny alif. And sometimes you might see this symbol. This is called standing dhamma or standing page. All these three symbols have a special use. Whenever you see them on top of any letter or at the bottom of any letter or at the side of any letter, you got to make those letters one or two a leaf longer. You have to prolong the sound one to two a leaf. That means two bits longer, you got to make the sound. So again, I'm uh, repeating the names. Standing Fatha or Standing Zabur. Standing Kasra or Standing Zer. Standing Pesh. Sometimes it might be called Pesh upside down or reverse Dhamma. So use of them uh, to make the sound one or two a leaf longer. Let's see in practice. As you see here, Hamza, it has only Fatha, so it's short, quick. Hamza, Fatha, A. Ah. But after that, we see this Hamza got Fatha, but standing, a tiny alif on top. So that's standing Fatha. We will have to make the sound one or two alif longer, like. Hamza standing fatha or standing zabur. Uh, Hamza standing zabur. Uh, uh, ba fatha. It is not longer, just fatha. Ba fatha, ba. But with a standing fatha, it will be longer. Ba standing fatha, ba. Ba standing fatha, ba. Ta fatha, ta. But ta standing fatha, ta, ta standing fatha, ta, ta, jim fatha, ja, jim standing fatha, ja, jim standing fatha, ja, ha fatha, ha, we know the ha is pronounced in the middle of the throat, it will be a bit heavy sound, ha, ha, ha fatha, ha, High standing fatha, ha, high standing fatha, ha, kha fatha, kha, kha standing fatha, kha, kha standing fatha, kha. In English, you don't have the sound, so you got to practice it more. Not ka, not ka, but kha, kha. Back of the tongue uh, will raise high. Kha, kha standing fatha, kha. Dhal, dhal, soft sound. Dhal standing fatha, the. Dhal standing fatha, the. Sin standing fatha, sa. Sin standing fatha, sa. Or you might say, of course, sin standing zabur as well, as some students. They are used to, to say Zabur, so you can say Zabur as well. Shin standing Fatha Sha. Shin standing Fatha Sha. Do. Do standing Fatha Do. Do standing Fatha Do. Do standing Fatha Do. 
Zoi standing fat hava. Zoi standing fat hava. This ayin. Ayin is not hamza, it's ayin. Ayin from middle of the throat again. Ayin standing fat hava. Ayin standing fat hava. Ayin standing fat hava. Fa. Fa standing fat hava. Fa standing fat hava. Cough, cough standing fat haqa, cough standing fat haqa, lam standing fat hala, lam standing fat hala, mim standing fat hama, mim standing fat hama, mim standing fat hama, wow standing fat hawa, wow standing fat hawa. Yes, yeah, standing fat yeah. yeah, standing fat yeah. So we practiced them only with standing fat or standing zabur. Same way you can practice with a standing kasta or standing z. It will make e sound like it will be by standing z b and standing dhamma again by standing dhamma bu. So, if we put ba with these symbols, it will be ba standing fatha ba, ba standing kastra b, ba standing dhamma bu, ba, b, bu. So, sounds will be a bit longer, one or two a little longer, inshallah. We hope you will use them when you read Quran al Karim. This is how your reading will be perfect and beautified. Let's see the exercise. We'll spell first, then we'll repeat the sound three times. Hamza standing fatha a lam fatha la a la a la a la. So you noticed that a was a bit longer sound because of standing fatha or standing zabur. Hamza standing fatha a dal fatha da a da mim fatha ma. Ah, dama, ah, dama, ah, dama. Hamza standing fatha, ah, mim fatha, ma. Ah, ma, say it. Ah, ma, nun fatha, na. Ah, ma, na. Ah, ma, na. Ah, ma, na. That is standing fatha, the. Lam kasra li. Vali. Kaf fatha ka. Vali ka. Try yourself. Vali ka. Vali ka. Hamza standing fatha a. Tha fatha tha. A tha. Ra fatha ra. A tha ra. A tha ra. A thara, try it. A thara. Hamza standing fatha a. Kha fatha kha. A kha. Ra fatha ra. A kha ra. A kha ra. A kha ra. Sin fatha sa. Lam standing fatha. La sa la. Mim double damma. Mun. Salamun, salamun, salamun. You should practice few times. Salamun. Ha fatha ha. Lam standing fatha la. Hala, hala. Lam double fatha lan. Hala lan, hala lan. It's your turn now. Hala lan. Mim fatha ma, Hamza standing fatha a, ma a, ma a, ba double fatha ban, ma a ban, ma a ban, ma a ban. Remember here, if this word is at the end of a sentence, or if you stop on this word in the sentence, 
then you will not say ma'a ban, rather you will make ba one a little longer as well. Ma'a ba while in the sentence. Next, kaf kasra ki, ta standing fatha ta, kita, kita, ba double dhamma bun. Try it. Kita bun, kita bun, kita bun. Mim kasra mi, ha standing fatha, ha, mi ha, mi ha, dal double fatha, dan, mi ha dan, mi ha dan, mi ha dan. Hamza kasra i, lam standing fatha, la, ila, ila, ha fatha, ha, ila ha, ila ha. Ilaha. Hamza standing fatha. A. Ya standing fatha. Ya. A. Ya. Ta kasra. Ti. A. Ya. Ti. A. Ya. Ti. A. Ya. Ti. Say after me. A. Ya. Ti. A. Ya. Ti. Hamza standing fatha a, tha standing fatha tha, a tha, a tha, ra kasra ri, a tha ri, a tha ri, a tha ri. It's your turn now. A tha ri. Kha standing fatha kha, lam standing fatha la. Khala, khala, ta kasra ti, khala ti, ka fatha ka, khala ti ka, khala ti ka, khala ti ka. Ra kasra ri, sin standing fatha sa, ri sa, ri sa, lam standing fatha la, ri sa la. Risala ta kasra ti. Risala ti. Risala ti. Risala ti. This kaf. Kaf fatha ka. Lam kasra li. Kali. Mim standing fatha ma. Kali ma. Ta double kasra tin. Kali ma tin. Kali ma tin. Kali ma tin. Qaf standing fatha qa, noon kasra ni, qa ni, qa ni. Ta standing fatha ta, qa ni ta, qa ni ta. Ta double dhamma tun, qa ni ta tun, qa ni ta tun, qa ni ta tun. Ha standing fatha ha, fa kasra fi, ha fi. Za standing fatha za, ha fi za, ha fi za. Ta double dhamma tun, ha fi za tun, ha fi za tun, ha fi za tun. Sin fatha sa, mim standing fatha ma, sa ma. Wa standing fatha wa, sa ma wa, sa ma wa. Ta double kasra tin. Sama wa tin. Sama wa tin. Sama wa tin. Kaf standing fatha ka. Shin kasra shi. Ka shi. Fa standing fatha fa. Ka shi fa. Ka shi fa. Ta dhamma tu. Ka shi fa tu. Ka shi fa tu. Alhamdulillah. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, in lesson 10 you learned uh, how to make a letter longer when there is fatha or dabur, uh, zabur and empty alif after that. In that case, a let the letter will be one alif longer. And in lesson 11 you learned three more symbols to make the letter longer. So, so far you learned four things 
where you got to make the letter one or two alif longer. One is fatha and empty alif after it. And number two is standing fatha. Number three, standing kasra. Number four, standing dhamma or tiny vowel at the top of a letter. So in these four cases, so far we learned, you got to make the sound one or two bits longer. May Allah help you. May Allah help us. May Allah accept our effort to learn Quran. Uh, may Allah be happy with all of us. Thank you. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.